to how did practice go at Arizona while Laura and me and Leah Bratz were all on the same team at the same time. This was not a team of feel good, go home, feel good about yourself kind of moments. I mean, when you played at Arizona in the 90s, you always had someone clawing at your heels or right at your back. These were not practices where you left feeling good about yourself. And Coach Kendra had his hands full with so many competitive athletes playing at one time, <laughs> trying to get not only a starting spot in the lineup, but also a national championship. There was nothing less than a national championship that was expected at Arizona during those years. And so for us, I'm not going to lie, but there were times that an ambulance would show up at practice that didn't have to do with softball injuries. So we were a competitive group. <laughs> Batting practice was like a home run derby. If Laura stepped in, she'd hit 10, and my job would be to hit 11. And then Leah would get in, and if she didn't hit 12, she was mad at both of us for the rest of the practice. I mean, it was, it was knockdown, drag out every single day. But in this situation, I hit in front of Laura, and Laura protected me, but Leah Bratz hit behind Laura, and that protected Laura. And so I say, I don't think Coach Candre would ever pick anyone to be the ultimate slugger at Arizona. But when it comes right down to it, where he put us in the lineup tells you who it was during that time. And he put Laura in the middle of the other two home run hitters. And so for me, that's Laura Espinosa. Laura Espinosa is the slugger to beat in this one.